Chambers and welcome to another episode of BTS Live. We are still talking about loss and grief and this month we've been talking about the grief associated with missed milestones and we have been looking specifically at uh, well the missed milestones associated with school leaving so finishing high school and the lessons that we're we're uncovering and the experiences that we're sharing though we're talking about high school even if you're you're the young adults in your life were leaving college or university or middle school, school or elementary it would have impacted them in similar ways right especially if the parents for the younger kids were making a big deal about the upcoming um school leaving exercise whatever it was and so for this week's gem, I have I introduced you, Kalissa Young, my daughter, <laughs> Kayla Cook, one of her best friends, and these two young ladies are dear to me. And they've been doing an excellent job of talking to us about this topic that is still, you know, a sore one for them, to be quite honest. Yes. Right? So I'm really, for the first time, properly lifting the veil to look at it truly and recognize that, yes. All right. So... Kalissa and Kayla, welcome back to BTS Live Gems. Love it here. <laughs> I realize you two are naturals, can yeah. I tell you? So here, the question for this week's gem now. What were some of the conversations or what was the conversation like between you and your friend groups at the start of the pandemic when you began to realize that uh, it's not going to be all fun and games? And that, you know, when you, you finally got to that place where you realize that you're probably not going to be going back to physical school anytime soon. What were, and, and it, that it would probably impact all the school leaving plans that were there. What were the conversations like among your friends? I feel like we were mostly focused on graduating. Yeah. At that point, we had already buried prom and graduate <laughs> in our heads. We were like, it's okay, as long as we get our graduation, yeah. we'll be okay. Just don't cancel our graduation. Don't postpone our graduation. Because they even thought about pushing it back some more. Yeah. But we're like, no, we want our graduation. That's, that was the main conversation we're all having. Mm -hmm. that, that was it. As long as we graduated, we'd be great. That, that's all we'll take we at this point. Keep it push it. We yeah. keep it pushing. But... So before you got to, to, to that point... When you, when you just, okay, so when you realize that, because you went out for spring break earlier. No, we went out for spring break when we were supposed to. Okay. Oh, and yeah. they added another two weeks to our right. spring break and we we're like, yeah, we party. <laughs> so excited. And so after, by the time you got to the end of that additional two weeks, did, it, did the reality start to sink in? Yes. It's, it's <laughs> when they added the first two weeks, I was like. We were on house arrest. Right. <laughs> we, said we, were on house arrest. we couldn't we go anywhere. Anything. We couldn't no. see anybody. Yeah. What? It was serious. It was, yeah, it was hard. So at that point, it was still early. What was the conversation between among your friends? I think we're trying to survive. <laughs> we're trying to survive. We're just, we were just trying to make it. We're just like, yeah. you can hold on. We can hold on two more weeks before we can see each other. Because everybody made mm -hmm. it seem like, you know, we're just going to be on lockdown for a month. For, and yeah. then they're going to open it back up. So we're like, we just got to hold on. We just got to hold on two more weeks and then we can see each other. We can go back to school. And then like halfway through the two weeks, they made it seem like they're extending it again. And mm -hmm. we're like, there's no going back. <laughs> and then we weren't in classes at the time because yes. no one had planned for this. Yes, yes, so there yes. weren't any, okay, we're going to do Zoom class from this to then. Yeah. So we were literally just chilling for the first month until maybe like April, in the middle of April. They said, okay, we're going to start back Zoom classes. Even that was still a hot mess because this was new to everyone. Yes, teachers didn't have anything to really teach yeah. us. People weren't really joining. It was just, it felt like we were on. It was chaotic. Yeah. We were you guys supporting each other? Yeah, I mean, the people we so. could support, yeah. we were supporting them. But like we said, like, there's not a lot of people that were joining. Like, there's classes that they did have. A lot of people didn't join them or they didn't take it seriously. Yeah, like, it was we would see people sleeping in class or just, like, you know, doing whatever in the background. So it felt like we were on, like... It was a vacation. Yeah. Like what, what about vacation. emotionally, emotional support? Because did you guys realize that you were all um, seriously impacted? At the time, I don't think we took it that yeah, we like we it. understood, but we weren't talking to each other like, "Wow, this hurts. This is so sad." Did you yeah. ever get to that place where you had that conversation with each okay, other? Kayla and I talk about it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> We're still talking about yeah. it to this day. 
<laughs> but not with everybody like with the people because like uh, when you're in classes you know i don't i don't know how everybody feels about it but you know you kind of always have like your school set of friends that mm -hmm. you're used to seeing and talking to Every day. and sometimes you're not you know even though this is the day and age of technology a lot of times you don't connect with these you people reach out. you don't reach out you don't have you don't have their phone numbers you're not communicating the way you should so when everything just kind of ended abruptly <laughs> we it was never like, got that yeah we never got to say like how are you feeling like how are you mm. doing from now and you didn't see them On after Instagram? the pandemic yeah like see how they're doing then you wouldn't know like you were just like okay well you know He's outside, yeah, so he must be doing good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know, for this for this month's episode, we're looking at the grief associated with missed milestone milestones. It's been so eye opening, and I still feel so helpless as a parent of um, a student who was impacted by the pandemic, or rather whose final year of high school was impacted by the pandemic. And listening um, to Kalisa and Kayla reiterate what the experience was like uh, um, for them, like the same feeling of helplessness is just um, threatening to just embrace me really tightly, <laughs> you know? And, you know, my fix it mommy um, thoughts is still going, is there anything you can do? <laughs> is there anything I can do, you know? You know, even to think, huh, maybe I should have a graduation for uh, them. I know uh, they laugh at me because the idea is well, not the same. Uh, <laughs> really. Uh -huh. You know, but um, maybe we could do that. I don't know. We'll see. We could. Y'all would like that? A graduation? I don't know. You see, because it's just the thing, you know, it still wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't. I'd still mm. be bitter walking across the road. <laughs> Kayla, so she would still feel bitter. And I don't understand it. I get it. Um, mm -hmm. One of the previous episodes, Kayla was quite frank for the rest of her life. And Kalisa <laughs> says, I'm going to be bitter forever um, about that. And I, and, and I get it. Um, they feel robbed. They feel robbed of um, some key milestone activities. They worked hard and they were looking forward to just being the graduates mm -hmm. like it was our moment yeah. and because that moment was stolen when you're a senior in high school it's a big deal especially with the teachers whoever your vice principal is they're the one who takes care of all who takes care of all your um graduation stuff we're like it's amazing watching them just be praised and yay leave yeah. you're excited we didn't get any of that yeah. can i say something viewers Kalisa refuses to go to certain things at her, at her former high school now. Oh, yeah, no. They, they have football match and things, and some of the other, her other friends will be going there. Kalisa's like, I'm not no, going. not supporting them. No. Boo. I'm Kalisa. forced to go. I mean, I have, I have siblings who go to the school that I went to. So when I'm sitting there in the stand sometimes and I see, like, classmates or teachers, I'm like, mm. Wow. I remember this. <laughs> I remember those days being able to just cheer and know that everything's going great and I'm gonna graduate. Yeah. <laughs> and then not being able to have that. Mm. So we didn't I'm telling you, we picked up our diplomas in our car line. Yeah. In the middle of the summer. <laughs> you, you um we realized that the kids don't like they really need therapy to help them unpack this, right? A little bit. That's what I'm that's what I'm realizing. <laughs> I guess. She offered therapy at the start though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I know it's a big deal. Yeah, I was like, no. And then she was like, no. And I'm like, okay, well, if you change your mind, let me know. Because it's a big deal. Ladies and gentlemen, I am KD in Chambers and I've been talking to Kalisa Young and Kayla Cook uh, for this week's BTS Live Gems, looking at the grief of missed milestones and this is where we're gonna leave it today i thank you so much for tuning in ladies thank you so much for being here with me again thank you for having us <laughs> ladies and gentlemen at home or work or wherever you are catch you next week thank you